think that's everybody. So if I see anyone else hop in, I'll uh, I'll quickly let them on. Hope everyone had a great Mother's Day weekend. <clears throat> we'll get started with a quick little warm up. So we're gonna do a forward lunge, twisting out to the side, and then step forward with that next leg. So nice easy lunge here. Trying to wake up your legs and open up your back. Awesome. And if you can try to push deeper into that lunge as your legs get warm, just making sure that knee isn't tracking past your toes. Awesome. One more. And now we have high knee march. You can do this as a walk or you can pick it up into a jog. Awesome, stay light on the feet. Get those knees in front of you, nice and high. And now we're into butt kicks. Get that heel right into your bum here, squeeze those hamstrings. You can also pick this one up into a jog. Awesome, good work everyone. Stay light on those feet again. Awesome, and now we have a step gather with a squat. So a nice wide stance, squatting down as deep as you can. Awesome. Keep those feet wide, knees wide. It's gonna help open up your hips. And again, we're waking up your legs here. Good job, everyone, almost there. And done, and now we have our arm circles. Starting nice and easy. And then slowly making those circles larger. This is how we're gonna open up your chest and warm up those shoulders. And switch directions. Again, slowly making them larger if you can. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water. Let's see what we have planned for today. Okay, so to get started with today's workout, we're gonna do a squat with a leg kick. So we're gonna squat right down, kick out to the side, squat down, kick to the side. Now with the squat, remember we wanna start the motion right through the hips. So you're gonna sit right back, okay? Um, go as deep as you can without pain or discomfort. Um, and then with that kick out to the side, we wanna make sure we're actually kicking to the side. A common tendency is kicking to the front. We wanna avoid that, so think side, okay? Here we go, three, oh sorry. If you have any weights or props and you want to make this harder, grab them now. You can hold them at your chest, at your side, or onto your shoulders, okay? 12 reps per side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat down, kick out. Squat down, kick out. There we go. There's three, four. So if we're doing 12 per side, we're going up to 24 total. We're at eight. 10, 12, good. Making sure you're starting the motion through the hips, so you're sitting right down and back. There's 16. There's 24 more. 
two, three, and four. Awesome. Now we're gonna lie down on your side. We're gonna do Jane Fonda's here. So hips are stacked, feet are stacked. Your top toe should be in line with your bottom heel. That means your back foot or your top foot's a little behind, okay? So top toe lined up with bottom heel. Three, two, one, and go. We have 20 reps here. Awesome. There's nine, 10. Keep in uh, squeezing the glute here, making sure that top toe is still lined up with the bottom heel. 18 and 20. Awesome. Switch sides. Hip stacked. Top toe lined up with bottom heel. Three, two, one, and go. 20 reps here as well. Keep that core strong. And think of using the side of your glute here. Awesome, there's 11, 12, 13, 14, just six more. Make sure your toe is not pointing up to the ceiling, it should be pointing straight ahead. 19 and 20, awesome. Now we're gonna do a side plank, we're just gonna hold it. So two options here. Option one is from your knees. We want your elbow stacked right under your shoulder, knees stacked on each other. We're gonna hold your hips up nice and high, just like this. That's gonna work your bottom oblique, okay? Option two, if you wanna make that harder, feet stacked, hips up. And now that's gonna be a more challenging option, okay? Both are great options. Choose what works best for you. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. So keep those hips high. Brace your core. If you started from your feet and it's getting a bit too challenging, you can always move down to your knees whenever you need to. We're almost there. Keep squeezing, keep pushing. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Flipping over. Three, two, one, hips up. Holding for another 30 seconds. Elbow should be under your shoulder. Hips held high. This is bugging your elbow. Think of dispersing the weight evenly through your elbow and your wrist. So throughout your full forearm instead of just on your elbow. That means rolling your upper body over a bit. That may help. We're almost there. Here we go, three, two, one, done. Now we're flipping over and we have dead bugs. So lying flat on your back, hands up, feet up. We're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg, bring it back in and then switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? Now, as I always say, keep that lower back press down to the ground, don't let it lift. If it's lifting or your back is bugging you, kick higher, that's gonna make it easier, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and go. We're doing 12 per side. There's four, six. So remember, press that lower back down to the ground. 10, 12, 18. Good job, everyone. Keep pushing. Here we go. We have four more. 21, 22, 23, and 24. Awesome. Good stuff. That's the end of that circuit. Nice and easy. No cardio. Woo -woo. Get some water. Because there's no cardio, we're just going to do a quick breather here. And then we'll hop back into the squat with the leg kick. Now, another reminder, if you found that squat to be easy, grab weights or props. Try to find things around your home that's going to make you heavier. 
to make the exercise more challenging. We have 10 more seconds and then we're starting. Squat with the leg kick. Here we go, three, two, one. Squat down, kick up. Squat down, kick up. There we go. There's four. Six. Remember to squat down by starting through the hips. So you're sitting right down and back. <clears throat> 12. Now remember with that side kick, we want to make sure our foot's not traveling forward. It should be going right out to the side, drive through the heel here. That way we're working the side of the glutes. <clears throat> I think that's 20, give me four more. Two, three, and four. Awesome. Sideline leg raise now. <clears throat> Hips are stacked. Top toe lined up with bottom heel. Three, two, one, and go. There's five, six, seven. Make sure you're not resting your top foot at the bottom of each rep, okay? So keep that top foot engaged. There's 13, 16, 18, and 20. Switch sides. Hip stacked. Top toe lined up with bottom heel. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Eight, 10, good job everyone. Five more, you got this. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're into our side plank. Elbow stack right under your shoulder from your knees or your toes. Here we go, three, two, one, up. Holding for 30 seconds, keep those hips high. If you wanna make this plank a little more dynamic, you can reach under, do a thread the needle, get a twist in. You can also add a sideline leg raise like that if you want to make that more challenging. Up to you, it's your workout. We have 10 seconds. Good, brace that core. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Switching sides. Three, two, one, and up. Nice work, everybody. Hips held nice and high, as high as you can. Bracing your core, but making sure you're breathing. Just gonna work that oblique here at the bottom side. That's the working side. You're also gonna be working your shoulders here. Awesome, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Now we're into dead bugs. Low back stays flat. Three, two, one, and go. There's three, four, five. Keep that tempo nice and controlled. Eight, 10, 12, 16, good. Again, low back stays flat, belly button pulled down. There's 20, 22, and 24. Awesome, up off the mat. That's end of round two, get a quick swig of water. Awesome, focus on your breath, trying to bring that heart rate down. Enjoy that sip of water.
Nice work, everyone. We have 10 more seconds. So grab your last swig of water, grab your weights or props, get in your ready position. Start with squat with leg kick. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squatting down, kicking out. There we go. Four. Eight. Nice work, everybody. Really squeeze those boots every time you drive your hips forward and every time you kick out to the side. So we want to get a lot of glute activation here. Nice work, team. There's 18. Just six more. Home stretch. Two, three, four. Five and six. Awesome. Jane Fondas, if you started on the same side for the first two sets, I want to challenge you to switch up your side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. There's three, four, six. Squeeze in that glute. There's eight. 10, halfway. Make sure you're not resting the top foot on the bottom foot every time you come down. Keep that top foot engaged. Nice. There's 18, 19, and 20. Switching sides. Three, two, one, and go. There's four. Six, again, squeezing that glute. Eight, making sure your toes not pointing up towards the ceiling. Should be pointing straight ahead. Nice work, 12. 16, 18, and 20. Awesome. Now into the side plank. Again, if you started on the same side for the first two sets, switch up your lead side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Strong core, strong hips, strong shoulders. Here we go. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. Halfway there, you got this team. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Awesome, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Switching sides. 30 seconds, three, two, one, and up. Keep those hips nice and high. Again, if you wanna make it more dynamic, you can add a leg raise here. You can do a thread the needle or you can hold like I'm doing. We're doing great, everybody. Almost there. Keep holding, keep pushing. Own stretch. Three, two, one, done. Now we have dead bugs lying on your back. Three, two, one, go. Low back stays flat, belly button pulled down. Six, eight, ten. Brace that core, keep squeezing. Halfway. Fourteen, draw your belly button down to the mat. Sixteen. And remember, if your low back is bugging you or you can't keep it flat, you can kick higher to make it easier. Awesome, there's 22, 23, and 24. Good stuff team, get some water. Great work. Okay, so next circuit. Another kind of full body round. We're gonna do four exercises. We're gonna start with the wall sit, okay? 
So for a wall sit, we want something nice and flat. Lean back so your back is flat against it. And we're gonna just hold. We can have your knees bent to 90 degrees, hips bent to 90 degrees, and you're just holding right there, okay? If you don't have access to a wall, what we're gonna do is just air squats real quick, just like that. Nice, good tempo. You're not going all the way down, but this is gonna help activate those quads and get them burning, okay? So you're gonna do those air squats for the same duration as our wall sit. If you're doing the wall sit with me and you have weights or props you wanna add in, you can do bicep curls while you sit there. Get a little gun show going on on this Monday morning. Okay, ready positions, here we go. Three, two, one, and sit into place. Keeping that back flat. Nice work, everybody. Good, strong core, keep breathing. You got this, we're almost there. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, now we're into a bear plank. Hands stacked under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and we're gonna lift your knees here just on your toes and your hands, okay? Nice flat back here. Gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So your flat should be, or I mean, your back should be flat. Make sure that head's not dipping down. So you have a nice neutral spine all the way across. Draw your belly button up towards your spine. You're gonna feel this through your quads, shoulders, and core. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Now we're gonna break this right into a push-up, okay? So you can do this from your knees or your toes, it's gonna look like this. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Push-up looks like this, from your toes, down and up, okay? I'm gonna challenge you to try to do a more narrow grip. It doesn't have to be way more narrow but a more narrow grip than what you would normally do, just to make it a little harder for those arms, all right? Three, two, one, down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, there's four. Six, breathing out every time you push up. Four more, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good stuff. Now we're gonna do shuffle hop. So what you're gonna do is replace that inside foot with your outside foot and then replace. So we're going back and forth, side to side. Stay low, try to reach for your toe with the opposite arm, okay? 30 seconds, three, two, one, and go. So when you're reaching out, it's right arm to left toe, left arm to right toe. You can keep these bounds in tight if you don't have much space or want to make it a bit easier, or you can make your bounds even larger if you want to make that more challenging. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, quick swig of water, quick rest. Then we're back to the wall sit or the air squats. We have 10 seconds, grab your last drink of water. Ready position, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Awesome, sitting deep. If you're doing those air squats, squeeze those quads, get a good quad burn going. Awesome job, everyone. Keep pushing it. We have five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Right into the bear plank now. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Three, 
Two, one, lift those knees. We should have your knees bent at 90 degrees and your hips bent at 90 degrees. A tendency to make this one easier is by leaning forward to kind of extend those legs. Make sure you're not doing that. Flat back, strong core. Awesome, we're almost there, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Now we're right into those push-ups from your knees or your toes. Here we go. Three, two, one, down and up, down and up. There we go. There's three, four, five. Breathing out every time you push up. Seven, keep that core strong. Four more. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, now we're into that shuffle hop, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Nice quick feed here. Trying to get that heart rate up. Good, stay light on your feet. Try to move them a bit quicker if you can, dig deep. Stay low, really drive through that outside leg. Get you a good push off. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water, one more round. This starts a little more bang bang, hopefully feel that heart rate up a bit higher. That's what we're going for. If you need a bit longer of a break, feel free to pause me if you're doing this on demand or just jump back in when you're ready if you're doing this with me live. Getting ready position, three, two, one, sit in. Good. Try to sit a bit deeper if you can. Nice work, everybody. Keep it strong. Feel those quads burning. You got this. We're almost there. Less than five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Now we're bare plank. Hands stacked under your shoulders, knees under your toes, or knees under your hips. Three, two, one, up. Maintaining a flat back, a strong core. Good job, everybody. Again, you're gonna feel this through those quads through your core, through your shoulders, but particularly the quads. Keep breathing, keep pushing. And done, awesome. Push-ups, 12 reps. Three, two, one, down and up, down and up, down and up, good. Four, five. You started from your toes and it's getting too tough. Drop to your knees at any time. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Last set of shuffle hop. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Good stuff, everyone. Stay light on those feet, keep moving nice and quick. Halfway there. Finish strong team, right to the bell, stay with me. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Woo, awesome, thanks everyone. Appreciate you joining me today on this fine Monday morning. Hope everyone has a great week. Thanks everyone on Facebook. Thanks everyone on Zoom. Way to rock and roll today.
Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. Bye, Michael. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Gwen. Bye, Nina, Tracy, Kate. Have a great week.